Let me just start by saying this. It's too soon to give up on Gleyber Torres. He's just 24 years old. But he should be entering the prime years of his career. He should be one of those guys having a monster home run season, a monster RBI season, and hitting better than the 243 that he's hitting right now. But instead, he's regressed over the past two years. At the age of 19, Torres was the youngest player in the Arizona Fall League and the youngest player in history to win the AFL MVP. He was ranked after the 2016 season as the Yankees' top prospect by Baseball America. Torres was listed as the fifth best prospect in baseball entering the 2017 season, also by Baseball America. In his first taste of Major League Baseball in 2018, Glaber was very respectable. He hit 271 with an impressive 820 OPS, 24 home runs in 123 games. He looked good at second base. He finished third in the Rookie of the Year voting at age 21, and he made his first All-Star team. In 2019, he followed that up with another All-Star performance. He hit 278. He had 38 bombs. He had 90 ribbies and an outstanding 871 OPS. But after coming back to baseball activities following the 2020 pandemic break, he was just terrible. He was out of shape, but a lot of us shrugged it off. Guys got out of shape. The season was weird. Guys couldn't work out. There were no gyms open. And his numbers didn't really reflect his history. But nearly everyone expected him to bounce back this year, at least offensively. His defense has always been a question at shortstop. Even though he's been a good second baseman, he wasn't really traditionally a good shortstop coming into this year, but he's been great at shortstop defensively. However, he's regressed even further offensively. His OPS, or on-base plus slugging, at the time of this video is 230 points below where he finished at 2019. It's at 641. His OPS plus is just 82, which means he's about 18% below league average, after being 27% above league average in 2019. His average exit velocity has dropped over 3 miles per hour, from slightly above league average at 89.1 to well below league average at 86 miles per hour. His launch angle has dropped from 17.7 degrees in 2019 down to 13.8 degrees in 2021. He's hitting too many balls on the ground, and when he tries to get the ball in the air, he tends to pop it up. He tends to try and kill it. His strikeout percentage has actually gone down, and his walk percentage is above his career average. So what's the problem? He's too young to start regressing, and we've seen him have many hot streaks this year. One thing that's interesting is that he always seems to hit better when he's wearing those clear glasses. Even though he says they're not prescription, maybe they help him focus a bit more or something. All I know is he f***ing hits better with them on. Maybe it's a confidence thing, maybe it's a mechanical adjustment. But it's too soon to give up on Glaber Torres. It's also way too soon to trade him. Ultimately, this falls on the Yankees coaching staff, the manager, and especially the hitting coach. They've got to get Glaber turned around. They've got to get him feeling confident and get him consistent. He's got a lot of movement at the plate. Maybe he just needs to kind of simplify things and just see ball, hit ball for a while. Maybe that'll get him going. Good luck, Glaber. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel. If you really enjoyed it, check out the swag section. We've got tons of great designs to support all your favorite Yankees. And if you simply cannot get enough Yankees content, check out the podcast version of this channel, The Freeze by NYY Recaps, available wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Derek. Thanks for watching.